Hello, everyone, and welcome to my weekend watch list. This is the show where I give you five games to be on the lookout for in your spare time. I do understand, you know, not everyone has, uh, you know, the subscriptions, you know, the 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 cable access, whatever it may be for some of these games. But I figured, you know, I just keep you informed on them. Figured I just let you know that these games are out there. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's crack into this one. Let's show you guys the games that will be happening this weekend as always you know this is how you can find uh, the majority of leagues you know Bundesliga in the USA you can find on ESPN plus in the UK on Sky Sports for League uh, uh, BN Sport for the USA and BT Sport for the UK Paramount plus and BT Sport for Syria and ESPN plus again and I think it's an Amazon package of some sort for La Liga but I have heard it's not easy uh, to watch La Liga in the UK so uh, that is quite unfortunate, but I would say, you know, quickly on La Liga it hasn't been maybe the most exciting so far. Lots and lots of one nils, nil nils, uh, et cetera, that have not been very exciting. So maybe you're not missing out on much. But uh, this uh, time we will be including a Turkish Super League game, and it's going to be uh, Trabanspor, uh against Galatasaray. Uh, Trabanspor, uh is a very, very, very... Uh, kind of unheard of, you might say, you know, Turkish team. They're actually one of the big, uh, I think it's like a big five or a big four or whatever of Turkish uh, teams that are very successful, very historic. And Trabanspor actually topped the league at the moment with nine points, uh, I believe. And then Galatasaray actually, uh, after three games, have seven points. Uh, Trabanspor, Trabzonspor uh, will be uh, uh, playing uh at home this game on sunday uh as always with the turkish league it is going to be very much you know a bit of a uh a bit of a maybe just kind of back and forth violent game you might even say maybe not one that maybe is suited uh for sundays uh but yeah guys uh, i would always recommend turkish super league i'm not too sure where to find it in the uk uh, i do know in the usa you can find it on bn sport i do believe uh, so uh, in the USA, keep a lookout on Sunday. Uh, if you're looking for a game, look out for that uh, Turkish Super League derby. It will be an absolute cracker, I will say. Honestly, love a good Turkish Super League uh, just for the intensity, for you know the rivalries and whatnot. I do believe I made a bit of a typo on Trabzonspor, so I do apologize, everybody, especially any uh, Turkish Super League fans. I do apologize for the typo there. Uh, my apologies. Um, but moving on. To the Bundesliga, uh, there will be Leverkusen against Dortmund on Saturday at around 3.30 p.m. Uh, UK time. Bit of an afternoon game. It'll be on Sky and ESPN uh, for this one. Uh, but Leverkusen uh, are going to be definitely desperate for a point here, whereas Dortmund might be desperate for all three points. Uh, Leverkusen will be playing at home this game. Uh, they definitely... Uh, have a fantastic defense this season, whereas Dortmund have, you know, kind of a fantastic attack. Uh, they that, then again, though, both of them have great attacks. You know, there are lots of goals scored by both uh, so far this season. Uh, but like I said before, Dortmund definitely are in need of three points. Uh, they they dropped points against uh, Freiburg, I believe, earlier this season where they actually lost to Freiburg. So they're definitely in need of uh, gaining some points back, gaining some momentum, especially while Bayern are not maybe uh, in too hot a form either. Uh, Leverkusen need at least a point, you would probably say here, you know, for them to have a successful season if they're able to grab a point here, frustrate uh, Dortmund at home, it would definitely uh, prove that they're going to have a decent season. If they get kind of smacked, uh, maybe a bit embarrassed, might not be a good season for Leverkusen, but I wouldn't underestimate Leverkusen. Definitely a team that uh, is looking a lot better this season uh, than in seasons past and possibly can make a bit of a, a surge for uh, the Champions League, but I guess we'll find out later on. 
RB Leipzig against Bayern is going to be my third, you know, uh, favorite game probably to look out for this weekend. Uh, RB Leipzig are in desperate need of three points here. Jesse Marsh uh, has only had one win after three games. He's had two losses, one against Mainz, uh, which was a 1-0, and then the other against Wolfsburg was a 1-0 loss as well. Jesse Marsh, the American uh, manager uh, re- coming from RB Salzburg, where he had a lot of success. I will say he's just he's under a bit of pressure. Maybe he's under a bit of pressure here as much as they might not expect too much against Byron. I do think with how, you know, catastrophic it's maybe uh, started off for him so far. uh, I do think he probably will be wanting three points, at least a point from it, at least a point. And if he were to uh, get embarrassed or if he were to lose all three points here, I mean, he definitely might be on the chopping block, I would say. In terms of managers to go, and that not that would not have been one that I would have predicted or would have guessed uh, to see Jesse Marsh go very early. But I do think Leipzig they do like to run their uh, club like a business. They're trying to be a competitive Bundesliga German club, uh, so I do think that if he were to continue to fall like this, uh, they probably might just you know say goodbye to him and you know uh, you know might think that this project with Jesse is maybe not worth it. Also, they put in a lot of investment this summer in the very right areas. You know they've made very good acquisitions, very good transfer dealings. Maybe that's a bit of an excuse for him considering, you know, they haven't had uh, a lot of time to, to settle or gel maybe into the squad. But at the same time, I would say Jesse's definitely got to improve it. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out there uh, for that game just because, you know, managerial, uh, let's say, uh, careers are at stake maybe over there, uh, especially for the likes of Jesse Marsh. Um, Julian Nagelsmann as well, you know, against Jesse Marsh, you know, his former club. So we'd see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Be a very interesting one. I've been moving on to the Serie A here. AC Milan against Lazio uh, will be a very, very interesting game. I will say we're talking about on it's going to be on Sunday, by the way. Uh, we're talking about two of the, you know, one of the best defenses in AC Milan and then basically the best attack in Serie A with Lazio. Uh, AC Milan, I think they've only conceded one goal or two goals this entire season. Obviously, they've only played two games in Serie A, but I think they've only conceded one goal, whereas like Lazio have already scored something like nine goals or something like that, seven goals, whatever it is. Uh, they're honestly on a, off to a flying start. Uh, sorry ball is always something that must be uh, reconciled uh, in uh, in uh, the Serie A. He's absolutely brilliant at bringing out you know the best attacking play uh, for, uh, Italian football, uh, Maurizio, sorry. So sorry, ball will definitely be coming up against a very, very resolute defense though. In the case of AC Milan, lots of good defenders over there. Uh, they did just get to Mori. Now they sealed that up. Obviously Romagnoli, Kier, uh, players like that, you know, Tay Hernandez, you know, they've kept, uh, I believe Davide Calabria hasn't left either. So they do have a very solid defense over there at AC Milan. Tenali, of course, Cassier, the one that we're all looking at at Spurs. So obviously AC Milan have a great team, but Lazio this season absolutely tearing it with the with the likes of uh, Immobile up top and uh, Sergei Milinkovic Savic as well leading it. They just have looked really good under Maurizio Sarri. They haven't had too much investment in the squad, uh, Lazio, but with Maurizio Sarri, it's possible that you know he doesn't really need too much. He can just turn any Italian side into you know, a real attacking uh, threat. And that's basically what he's done here. So definitely be on the lookout to see if this Lazio team can continue to just tear apart teams with this uh, amazing attacking play. Uh, But moving on, guys, Napoli against Juventus, the South versus the North, Uh, you know, uh, historic rivalry, of course, Uh, Napoli being from uh, the South of Italy and then Juventus being from the Northern side of Italy as well. So, you know, it's just, you know, culturally a, a huge rivalry. And then also two very historic football teams, of course. Uh, this game will be on Saturday at 5 o'clock. Uh, I would recommend this just because also Juventus have only picked up one point after two games. They had a very kind of embarrassing loss at home against Empoli. And I believe they dropped a point as well against another not so strong of a team at first as well. Uh, so you do have to consider, you know, Napoli might be able to upset the likes of Juventus and uh possibly uh, maybe make Massimiliano Allegri uh, be a bit more nervous about his uh, potential and his future at Juventus. They definitely are looking to try to win the title again after what just happened with Pirlo. Uh, They're definitely not looking to be embarrassed, uh, Juventus, and they did have a bit of a quiet window, but they have brought in Locatelli. They've, you know, obviously Weston McKinney's all been sealed up. Kulishevsky, Chiesa, lots of players. Ronaldo's now left. Maybe a bit of pressure has been taken off there. You would think Juventus would be doing a bit better than they are, but at the moment it's not going too well. So this will be a test 
for the likes of uh, Juventus going up against Napoli, going up against their southern rivals. So, yeah, guys, I mean, definitely keep an eye out uh, in terms of Serie A as well. You know, it will be some interesting ones. Lots at the, lots at stake here, lots on the line here. Uh, but that'll be all for now uh, in terms of my weekend watch list. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I do hope that you're going to be keeping a lookout for some of these games. And I hope one of these interested you. Uh, but that'll be all for now. So please drop a like if you enjoyed any of these selections. Do let me know in the comments, you know, which ones you will be watching, which ones you did watch. Subscribe if you're new, as always. And I'll be seeing you.